everyone. My name is Miss Maggie. It is so great to be seen by you today. I have one more quick, silly story about food that I want to share with you. So in the clubhouse for this past month, we had the theme called Kid City Cafe. And in that theme, we had all different sorts of things for you to play and learn that had to do with food at the hands-on house. And all of the stories that I read to you this month in Story Stretchers had to do with the theme of food. So I have one more story that is sort of like an added bonus that I was not planning on sharing with you but is one of my favorites and one of my kids' favorites, and I really would love to share it with you. It is a very silly counting story called My Little Sister Ate One Hair, and it's written by Bill Grossman, and it's illustrated by Kevin Hawks, and it's a really fun counting and a repetitive story that I'm wondering if you will be able to sort of read along with me as I am reading it. And it has some really great practicing of counting up to 10 and then counting down from 10. And I have a game that I really would like to share with you that maybe you could play at home where it's practicing your counting and practicing your numbers and it's using a 10 frame. So I'm going to move the video so that way I can show you something that I have on my carpet here that maybe you can make at home. Okay, so what I have here is something called a 10 frame. And a 10 frame is a math tool that is used in schools in order to teach kids visually number sense and to give them a basic understanding of place value. And all that it is, is it is just 10 rectangular squares. It is a two rows of five rectangular squares. And you could print out a 10 frame if you want online. There's tons of them and they would look exactly like this. I just used the painter's tape in order to make it on the carpet for a game that you can play, um, creating and making numbers. So all that you're going to need is a lot of something that you have in your house. So I have three boys, we have lots of race cars, and you're gonna need a deck of cards or you could just have some number cards. And what I did is I took all of the face cards out of the deck and then all that you have to do in order to practice creating and making numbers and making um, sense out of numbers for your children is you could take a card and flip it over and look at the value of the card and this one is a two and then take two of whatever it is that you have and you're going to place them in the 10 frame and so a two would very easily look like this and maybe you can't see that so well so I'll use something a little bit brighter. I have some um, little elephants here. So I have, this would be what a number two looks like. And then if I were to flip my card over, I would see that my next card is a five. So I could either choose to start over again and count up to five, or I could keep the two that I have here and I could count one, two, three, four, five. And this is a really easy game that you could play um, at home with your family. And the more that you practice, the more number sense you will gain and you'll gain your confidence in being able to recognize numbers without even having to count using your 10 frame. So if I had the number three, I would know that all that I need to do is take these away in order to make this look like a three. And as you get more proficient at it and as you do more practice with it, you would get something like a nine and then you would know, hey, I have 10 boxes in here because this is a 10 frame. So I know in order to make nine, I'm gonna fill all of these boxes except for one. And once you get really good at that, you could then move on to a 20 frame, which again looks something like this. It's just two 10 frames. And this is again helping with your number sense and being able to help maybe decompose and compose numbers in relation to a 10. For example, if you had something like this and you made a 12, um, you would know then that a 12 is a 10 and two more. And this is lots of stuff that um, we are doing in school to be helping with understanding numbers and the way that they work. So this is a really fun game that you can play in order to practice your numbers. But I would like to share this story with you. And so I'll come back up here so that I can read it to you. 
Okay, I'm back up here because I really am excited to share this story with you. And I got a little bit closer this time because I want you to be able to see the illustrations because I think that they're really funny. The story is called My Little Sister Ate One Hair and they are not talking about the hair that's on your head. They are talking about a rabbit type hair. So My Little Sister Ate One Hair. My little sister ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate two snakes. She ate two snakes, for heaven's sakes. She ate two snakes, she ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. Do you recognize the repetitiveness of the last sentence? Can you read it with me next time? My little sister ate four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three snakes, two. She ate three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate six mice. She spit them out and ate them twice. She ate five bats, four shrews, three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice, five bats, four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. I wonder if anything will make her throw up. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice. She ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate nine lizards. She ate their heads and legs and gizzards. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs and seven pollywogs, six mice. She spit them out and ate them twice. Five bats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes. She ate two snakes for heaven's sakes. And of course, she ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate 10 peas, but eating healthy foods like these makes my sister sick, I guess. Oh my goodness, what a mess. And look at this illustration. She has thrown up all of the animals. So peas are what makes her sick. Isn't that so funny? Thanks for sharing that story with me. It was so nice to read it to you. I hope that maybe you practice with some 10 frames over the next um, 
time that you are home with your families, practice counting your numbers and touching your numbers and learning how to uh, 10 frame works and that way you can start to visually recognize your numbers on your own. You're doing a great job and I hope that you continue playing and learning at home until you can come back and see me at the Hands On House. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!